Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this cloth peeling simulation in Blender. So let's get started. Hit Shift A, add a cube and press S, Shift Z and type in 5. Now add a plane, press G, Z, 1. Duplicate the plane, make sure the second plane is selected. Now hide the second plane in the render. If you don't see this option, then go up here and enable it. Now press A, R and X and rotate it. Make sure the second plane is selected and scale it up like this. Now press I, location, go to frame 190, press G and Y to move it on the local Y axis and keyframe it again. Go here, press A and T and select linear. Select the first plane, go to the modifiers and select the vertex weight proximity modifier. Go into edit mode and subdivide it by 100. Create a new vertex group, press A and assign. Go back to object mode and to the modifiers. Select the vertex group here and here select the second plane. Set the proximity mode to geometry. Outside the cube for now. We also need to set this to face and invert it. Now let's go to weight paint mode. As you can see now everywhere the weight is set to 1 and if we play the animation it's going to be set to 0. Go back to object mode. In the physics properties click on cloth. Now go here to shape and in the pink group select the group. Let's save now. Let's also set the stiffness to 10 and under collisions enable the self collisions. One more thing that we need to do here is to set this to 0.25. Let's save again. Go to cache and click on bake. Now let's hide the second plane and bring back the cube. To prevent the objects from intersecting, let's add a solidify modifier. Set the thickness to minus 0.01. Let's also shade smooth. Now save again and add a subclusion surface modifier and set the level to 2. Go to shading. I'm going to put a link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. I'm going to use two image textures for this. You can find a link to those in the description as well. Go to rendered view. I'm going to use Eevee for this. Enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. You can also enable motion blur. One more thing that you can also do is to go to color management and set the fill transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Remember to set this back to the default settings before compiling the images, otherwise this will be applied twice. With the plane selected, click on new. Select the principal PSDF and press Ctrl Shift T. Find the folder where you have the image texture, press A and enter. As you can see, this looks kind of wet and I don't want that, so let's add a color ramp. Put that here between the roughness and set the white to somewhere around 0.6. Now select the cube, click on new. Select the principal PSDF and press Ctrl Shift T again. Go to the folder where you have the second texture. Press A and enter. Set the scale here to 10. Go back to layout mode. Go back to frame 1 and hit Shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and position the camera. I'm going to set the start to 40 and the end to 160. In the output properties, select an output folder. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the render design screen now. I'll see you next time.